Well, the Grammys are this Sunday, and Lizzo will be front and center with eight nominations. She lived in Minneapolis before hitting it big and credits Prince for inspiration. So what is the Minneapolis sound? Good question. Heather Brown found out from a local Prince expert. What is the Minneapolis sound? There's a couple ways to answer that. And you can go technical. It's synthesizers and electronic drum machines and combining all these funk and rock and soul and R&B and new wave elements together. Andrea Swenson hosts the local show on The Current. She also wrote, Gotta Be Something Here, The Rise of the Minneapolis Sound. But I tend to think of the Minneapolis Sound more philosophically in that it's breaking down barriers that have always existed in music, combining surprising elements together, and bringing a community together. I mean, this is not the kind of music that comes from Minneapolis, Minnesota. No. <laughs> I love the look that Prince gives Dick Clark in that clip because how dare you? <laughs> she says the Minneapolis sound started decades before Prince in the late 50s. There was the Big M, who were students from North High School. Maurice McInnes, the Amazers. Both artists face a lot of discrimination. Yes, they did. As a state, we're still continuing to confront this recent history. I think that's just another reason that Prince and his peers are just so remarkable is that they saw what their predecessors went through. They learned from what they had to endure and what they were faced with, and they strategize ways to break through it by having, you know, multiracial bands and by having different genders and different genres. Like. By the 80s, the sound had exploded. Morris Day in the time. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Andrea still hears it locally today. You don't really hear it in Lizzo. But would you argue you could feel the impact of it on Lizzo? Absolutely. Yes. The day before and the day after leaving Paisley Park, like, transformed me from just, like, a musician to an artist. He told her that he wanted the um, lyrics that she wrote to be positive. Everything it needs to be very positive. Mm -hmm. And that's a message that she's run with. Tall, but beyond that, I think the Minneapolis scene is so collaborative that I think it really opened up the possibilities for what she could make her music sound like. Where would we be without the Minneapolis sound today? Heather Brown. It'd be boring. <laughs> WCCO for News. And you can watch the Grammys live right here on CCO this Sunday starting at 7 in the evening.